see. Osborne, here we are, William Osborne. We gotta find it on Pro Player AI. Um, nope. It's probably this one. Yep. All right. <coughs> Set this up. All right, so I want to go through your anatomy first. So this is looking at, let's go trunk rotation, no, up here. Trunk rotation's 40, so a lead on trunk rotation's 60. So we're gonna be looking at how is your anatomy affecting your biomechanics? So we want to be, we want to be cl closer to 90. So you're, you're pretty tight on your trunk rotation. It was kind of like in your drill when I was kept saying you want to pull your upper body. With, if your trunk is tight to want to delay, then you're not going to separate well. You're not going to create that counter movement well, so then you're going to feel like you always have to force your upper body. So that trunk rotation restriction is going to be tough for you. So we've got to work on trunk rotation. Hip abduction is super tight, man. I mean, I don't even have to get particular. These are all super tight. Um, trunk extension super tight. Hip extension super tight. Um, so a lot of mobility with tightness, which is going to make it hard for you to get into those positions, which is what you probably experience today. And then looking at the athleticism is how you get out of them in your in your your body weight. How old are you? You're 17. Your body weight's you know slightly below average, but your 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 verts are poor. Your your <coughs> T your 10 yards slow, your rotational speed. Here's your rotational speed. Um, right rotation. I forget which one it is here. Oh, there it is. Which one is it? Oh, maybe, maybe I don't have them on here. Um, broad jumps. Definitely way below average. Your lateral to broad differences aren't too bad, which is good, but definitely just lacking in power. Here's the rotation. Rotational speeds are below average. So you have a lot to gain just in the athleticism. We gotta get more mobile. We gotta get more explosive. We gotta get stronger. So um, th those are gonna be dramatic and changing. You're a guy who like, you just worked on this. You wouldn't even have to work on your mechanics and your velocities would go up so much more. Now just taking you through your mechanics real quick. Coming out of leg lift, you're trying to reach out pretty early. Now, is that because you're Okay. But you want English or Spanish? Okay, so now we're going to do some interviews to the guy that just came to the camp to see what they learned and what they're going to change from the old habit. Hey, man, there is a really key, really fast interview that I would like to ask you what you learned today and what you are going to start doing that you wasn't doing before. We got to push him the mic up. Yeah. I'm new on this. So. Uh, probably the biggest thing is the hip shoulder separation. I mean, I lack that a lot and I'm throwing around 88, so it's a lot of stress in my arm. So I'm compensating what I've learned from Brett, or Brett is I'm compensating for that lack of hip shoulder. So once I get that, I think I'll throw harder and uh, I'll be throwing harder with less stress in my arms. So that's probably the biggest thing. Okay, I'm glad. So what was your favorite thing that you just, I don't know, were doing in the drills? Why you were like the one that you was more weak or you wasn't doing good? Probably the, uh, when you're in the knee, that one's probably the toughest one to feel the push off the mound, or the uh, king of the hill. That one's probably the toughest, but I mean, that's probably, yeah. That okay. one. Thank you. Hope I get better at that All one. All right. Yeah, let's follow here. Okay, hi. I have you a few questions here on an interview really quick. Yeah, we live. So, yeah, tell me three things that you learned today. Uh, shoulder and hip separation. Okay. And then I learned the drills to help that. So, like, the, with the med balls, getting on the knee lifting and then throwing and then I learned the other con 
when your body contracts. Okay. Your there's three of them. Your arm and your trunk, your shoulder and your hips. And I think your hip. I don't, I don't know that. Like the shoulder separation, you mean? Yeah. Okay, so what are you gonna start doing now in, in your routine that you wasn't doing before? I'm gonna start doing the med ball drills to help me and getting on a knee and I'm gonna use that to help me too. So um, do you think that before coming here, you were doing a lot of things wrong and nobody told you nothing before? Uh, I think I knew the basis of it, but after coming here, I got more details and I know now what I could do to help her. Thank you, man. I think there is nobody, but I don't know. <laughs> Hey guys, we are live. So this is a little interview. So tell me two things that you learned today. Um, to use ground force. Okay. And to use my hip, to start with my hip. And what are you gonna start not doing anymore at like uh, pitching? To, to not use this, like to not use this first. Okay, that's fine. Um, you enjoy being here and learning new stuff. So you want to start doing this in, in your routine? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for coming. You're welcome. <laughs> what are you going to say? You want to say anything? So this guy here being the program before, so yeah. he can tell you a little bit how this program works and what are like the benefits of being top beat. Uh, it helps with your mobility a lot. And not only that, like outside of baseball, you just feel great. Like uh, you just feel more healthier and just better, you know, and it just helps pitching a lot, you know. It really helps. How like, long have you been in the program for? Uh, been here. I came last summer, and now I'm back again. So I've been in here since last summer. Okay, so how much is being helping you? I mean, like, a lot. In, in I mean, how help you improve? It helped me gain velocity, a lot of velocity and mobility. So when I first got to the camp, I was at high 70s, and now I'm, I live in the mid-high 80s area, you know. Okay. So this program helped me a lot, really. Okay, so what you can tell to those people who are watching this and they are like doubting uh, to come to the camp and learn new things, what you can tell them? It helps. I promise. I promise you it helps. <laughs> there you go. Need the sun. I'm ready. Hard time keeping your trunk closed, and an uh, elite pitchers can optimize hips and shoulder separation. Right, that's the counter move. Yeah. They can get their hips to open more and their shoulders to stay longer. That also allows your hips more time to power as your trunk delays, okay? So you're, you're, t you're restricted in, in some thoracic rotation, which could work against you in that. Your internal rotation is really good. Your hip abduction is really poor. So this movement right here. So we're trying to build. So still don't know where to train this summer? Listos para este verano.